What's up, YouTube? Today we're in the kitchen making red skin hassleback potatoes. Let's get started. All right, so of course we're gonna rinse off our potatoes. We're also gonna take some garlic, a little bit of olive oil, some dry basil, a little bit of salt, and I forgot to grab it, but we also need dry um, oregano. And if you got some fresh thyme, throw that in there too. I'm gonna start off by smashing our garlic to get them out of there. Paper. And then we're gonna mince these cloves as fine and small as you can get them. We're gonna roast the garlic, but no one wants big hunks or hunks of garlic. That's not delicious at all. So we're gonna get them out of their skins and get to mincing away. Of course, watch your fingers, be careful. You know, all the safety precautions. Once you get it minced, you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, probably about two tablespoons, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but about two tablespoons. And then add all our herbs and spices, so the basil and the salt. Um, I did some fresh cracked black pepper. Um, and like I said, oregano, I didn't grab it for some reason, but I did put it in there. Mm. Now with these potatoes, first of all, get the small ones. I'm not good at the juggling. I thought I was going to be cool, but hey. Anyway, for your cuts, be careful. Of course, potatoes are rolly. Don't cut your fingers off trying to make decorative potatoes. Like, it's not that serious, so be careful. Take your time. The cuts can be as thick or as thin as you want them. But the thinner the cut, the fancier the potato looks. Now here you see me putting them in a Pyrex dish, but I eventually switched them to a baking sheet. They cook way better on the baking sheet, giving it room to crisp up and kind of get that little crunch instead of just sogging out in the Pyrex dish. So we did put it on 375 on a baking sheet and we wind up cooking it for an hour and 10 minutes. And that's what you should have so the flavors can seep down into those cut and infused potato. Alright, so I did add a few little scoops of vegan butter on the side, add a little extra flavor, and then we're going to do our olive oil and garlic mixture and pop this baby in the oven. And like I said, on 375 for one hour. And this is what you're left with. Voila! These are a great side and so delicious. I love y'all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!